Why, hello. I bet you can't see me because I'm camouflaged. Uh, so for the past few days, I've been photographing beautiful wildlife of Costa Rica. And although it has been amazing, it means lugging around huge, heavy cameras. I'm here staying in an eco lodge and I decided to just come out with just my phone, walk around and try to capture just some either wallpapers for my phone and also give you some tips on how to maybe take better photos with your phone. And today I am using the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Ah, uh, you lichens. There's some lichens on this tree. I think I'm gonna use the macro mode to get a nice close up of the texture of the lichens. Ooh, look at those details. My first tip is know your phone's white balance. On the Google Pixel Pro 8 Pro, everything is kind of cooler than reality. I know that sounds cool, but what I mean is the temperature is bluer or not as warm. I wish you could lock in a white balance, you can't. But for each shot, I kind of gauge what I, how warm I want the image to be, uh, what mood I want it to be, and then take the shot then. Now that's something you should worry about more if you're just shooting in JPEG, but I am shooting in JPEG and RAW. RAW files, you can fix the white balance just a little bit later if you want to. Always look for light, guys. So the light is hitting that orange, those orange leaves back there. This is what it looks like on my end here compared to reality. Uh, the greens don't really look the way they look. So what you're gonna do is you go to these, this little corner, the settings, and just make sure white balance is chosen at the bottom and you can actually cool it even more if you crazy or pick the actual temperature you'd like. I found that with the Google Pixel 8 Pro, it seems to be just under 5,000. So 46-ish, that looks good to me. Get a little closer. I think we're going abstract guys. We're going abstract here. Maybe shoot super wide. Don't forget that you can turn your camera over and so you can put the lens closer to what you want to shoot. So I'm putting it right on the stem there. It's the best we can do because we lost the sunlight. We're going to move on anytime. The roots, the roots are on fire. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, there's a beautiful tree here with beautiful roots and I just want to take a picture of it. So what we usually do is we just grab our phones and we're like, oh, these roots are nice. And we take this picture. And the first thing you could do is give a little perspective. So we want a little scale. So I could put my feet in the picture like so. And at least now people will be able to know, hey, these roots is big. And the other thing you could do if you don't want your feet in the picture is give an interesting perspective. Instead of just eye level, start shooting a little lower. Okay, now we is lower. And just remember your camera is at the top. So you could turn your camera upside down to get a better perspective and get really get a sense of what this tree is doing. Let's move this vine out of the way. Get down low. There we go. Let's do one on the root. I'm gonna to touch the volume button so I don't have to hit the screen. And do a couple of different ones so that later you can kind of pick, you know, the best out of three. Okay. Hey, we got some fun leaf cutter action here, which will be great to take a picture of. Let's try that. Guys, there's an amazing, huge ant colony here. They're all in here. Actually, I'm gonna use the pixel to get closer. Look at that craziness. Something else you might wanna do is turn off macro auto. The camera will usually, if you get close to something on the pixel, it'll automatically go into macro. And that's not always the look I want. So I actually go into the settings and sometimes turn off macro mode. And if you get close enough with this lens, you actually get a very nice look. 
you get sharp close-up photos, but the background is blurry without being in portrait mode. So try it. Try to turn off your macro mode if you're getting close to things. Hello, tree. Another setting that I like to turn on and off is high megapixel. So you can, <laughs> pixel, you can actually have 50 megapixel photos with this phone. However, it does slow down the camera. So I do turn it off to the 12 megapixel if I just wanna take a lot of photos and post quickly. But if you are working on one photo, turn on high megapixel, great files. Leave me alone. Another good suggestion, if you know, to focus on the camera, you can actually just tap where you want the camera to take a picture. All right. So on the camera, you could just tap where you want to focus, but sometimes the camera keeps focusing on the wrong thing if it doesn't know what you really want. So you can actually manually focus. And instead of just manually focus, what's cool is if you have it in manual focus, you can tap and it'll hold that focus without moving to any other spot. I did this when photographing the uh, leaf ants. What are they called? The leaf cutter ants um, on the, you know, the leaf cutter ants. You know what I'm saying. All right, that was fun. Happy shooting. I'll see you guys next time. Dramatization, dramatization. Whoa, he just fell in a hole. Did you see that? I just fell in that hole. <laughs> YouTube dangers.